again, everybody, buddy, and welcome back to Fujits Blitz. Now, this is just a quick one game. Basically, when I was doing the Tiger 131 review last week, I rolled out in the Kuru to, uh, well, get subcomparative footage, basically, because the Tiger 131 is basically a Kuru. And so I rolled out in, in this game. I rolled out in many games, but I want to show you this game. Now, I don't do anything in spectacular in this game, actually. In fact, we lose. But the reason I've decided to show you this game is because what happens at the end. Now, basically, there's a, a player in the MT-25 who whilst having low battle count, is actually a good player. And it's what he says to me, which he then continued in garage chat straight after the game, that made me scratch my head and irked me a little bit. And now, it irked me because, well, you'll see. Now, like I said, I don't set the world on fire in this game. In fact, far from it. Um, I hadn't rolled out in the Kuru for a long time. There was the f this was the first battle I've had in it for ages. And here we are on Canal. And I can see where the majority of the red team is. Now, I also know there's some red players down where the sea cap would be. Mainly TDs. But we'll get to that. So, there's the flat panzer in all his glory. And as you can see, there's the chap in the MT-25. And here we go. We're trying to smack the Jag panzer, but he gets out of there pretty sharpish, which is understandable. So now we know where all the red team is. They're basically over by the decap. The flat panzer has now gone. And you can see in the mini-map where I am, and you can see that the MT-25 is basically plotting a parallel course, which is which is good. You know, uh, the rest of our team uh, are just brawling. So we get up behind this KV-1S, and we can start smacking him. Uh, now, now, the Kuru's actually a nice tank. It's a little bit better than the 131, funnily enough and it's cheaper and th th like I said the idea of me going out in the Kuru was to try and do comparative studies uh, I, I didn't use the footage at the end but this this particular game and this particular thing played on me for, for a couple of days and I scratched my head a lot and I decided well you know one of us is right one of us is wrong so I'm going to put it to the community and see what they say. So, as we can see, we're at the moment winning this game. I've done next to no damage, but now I can start putting shots in. And the MT-25 is basically taking most of the kills, which is good. You know, he's played a corking game up to this point. Now, I'm going to, you know, there's, I've got the AT-15 and we've now lost another tank. Thankfully we've got an AT-15 and I think it's a T-26 left. Now the AT-15 is up there. I can see him. It's the AT-15A actually. And I'm going to struggle to pen him. As you can see he's very red. And that sh shot went I don't know, God knows where but into the ether somewhere. But I'm going to I'm just going to sit here um, stay down he can't get shots into me and I can't get shots into him now watch again the minimap so up until this point the MT-25 has got four kills there's the AT-15 can we get anything going in now? no but thankfully we also bounced the uh, T-25 it's T-26 well whatever it is over there in the corner now the MT-25 is circled back to try and get shots in but you will see he doesn't fire 
He's now relay. He, he's just fired. I'm taking the AT-15A on. The MT-25 has fired one shot so far. Now I have two tanks on me. I've got the AT-15A, who I bounce again. Now I'm going to put a shot in. And I've got the American monster behind me. Watch the MT-25. He comes right up behind me. And then, whilst I'm taking out the A-15, hey, he gets walloped. This leaves me one against two. And watch what he says in chat. It's unbelievable. Uh, apparently, I blocked him. <laughs> so, let's have a look at that again. Now, as I said, he continued this in the garage chat, saying that I blocked him, I was the reason he got wasted, blah, 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 blah. So, let's have a look. So, you can see here, I'm, I'm basically trying to avoid the AT-15A. I can see the AT-15A's teammate is now come over the hill and he's made a move and the MT-25 is where the sea cap is basically nowhere near the battle in real terms so I'm angling up to two tanks he's not supporting me at the moment so I'm getting smacked by both sides watch the mini map so I'm trying to angle and maneuver to stop being shot. And what you don't see is that he just came right up behind me and hit me. And he was basically trying to use me as a shield, which I don't have a problem with. And then he gets wasted, completely wasted. What I have an issue with is him then saying that I blocked him, that it was my fault that he died. And I, I said to him in the game chat, I said, look, I'm not going to have this conversation with you. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick it on my YouTube channel and I'll see what everybody else says. So did I block him or did he make a bad move? Let me know, guys. Uh, like I said, I didn't set the world on fire in that game. This is the player. He played well. Don't get me wrong. Um, and I just don't understand why he thinks he was blocked. He made the move, not me. And he said in game chat, it's because I reversed into him. I'm trying to avoid being shot, Muppet. Anyway, that's been a quick uh, video. I've been Fujit. Uh, by all means, I'd love to hear your views, guys, on whether I blocked him or not. Because he is absolutely adamant that I blocked him. That it was my fault that he got wasted. Uh, which is ridiculous. Anyway, I mean, that's the player. He played a blinding game. And I understand frustrations and annoyances when you lose. But, mate, you only had yourself to blame. Next time, don't get behind a tank that's trying to take on two tanks. It, it's not going to come out good for either tank, as you've seen. Anyway, I've been Fujit. Love to know your thoughts on that and your comments. Um, I'm not picking on this chap. I just said to him in chat... I'm going to put it to the community and see what their views are. By all means, if you've got any decent replays of any description, send them to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com or join my Discord server where it's even easier to upload those replays. Um, if you haven't yet, please press subscribe. It's a nice thing to do. And if you also haven't yet, at the end of this video, there's a link to my great gold giveaway offer that's running for the month of July, basically from the 3rd of July until the 31st. By all means, do your best, take part, it costs you nothing and you could get some gold. Anyway, until the next time, stay safe out there.
have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that's what it's all about having fun and being happy